Good morning. So um, I want to share with you a little bit about what we're talking about in our fit camp um, because it's Christmas season, right? Like parties have started. I uh, had my first Christmas party last night with Dee's work. Um, all of the Amish food. And, um, you know, how do you, how do you juggle all of that during this time of the year? And my number one tip for people is just enjoy it. Um, now there's a right way and a wrong way because Jesus is the reason for the season, right? Not like binge eating or binge drinking or overindulging in anything, not becoming obsessive with exercise or starving yourself or whatever that struggle is that you face. Um, but it's just really focusing on the people that we're spending time with, the things that we're doing. And now in this COVID season, it does look a little bit differently. But, you know, there are times where we are out, um, you know, celebrating with family or friends. Or maybe you're stuck at home and you're struggling with, you know, over-exercising or over-napping or overeating or whatever that is. And so I just wanted to share with you a couple of the things that I have found um, as a recovering binge eater and binge drinker um, that have helped me stay on track during Christmas season. Um, one of those is have a plan. Um, I wake up every morning and I write out in 30 minute increments what my plan is for the day. I'm not saying that I am 100% accurate at this. Most days I flail, but at least I have all the things written down that I want to do. And one of those is drink my half my weight in ounces of water every single day. One of those is move my body. Now today's a rest day for me on my workout program. So what can I do to stay on track? And one, that's nail my nutrition. It's gonna be 50 degrees here today. So I'm gonna go out and W-A-L-K. <laughs> it was looking at me like, we're gonna what? Um, have a plan, you know? Write out what it is you're going to do today. I always write down my goal weight. I'm 155 healthy pounds. I eat according to my goals. Um, have a plan. Write it down. Say it out loud. Yes, people may think you're a weirdo, but so what? This is your journey, right? Like in all of the things I have learned in my 38 years of life is that people are going to judge you no matter what you do. You can go out to eat and order an entire large pizza and eat the whole damn thing. And nobody's gonna say one word, but you go out to eat while all your friends are eating pizza and you order a salad, you're gonna get that, oh, are you on a diet? All day long. So people are gonna judge you anyway. You just do you, boo. Enjoy, but have a plan. Move your body. Drink half your weight in ounces every single day. I talk to so many people who are like, well, I don't really like to drink water. Okay, well, we're grown ups, so let's just drink some water. If you need to throw some fruit in there, whatever, just do it. Coffee does not count. I'm on my third cup already today, uh, but I force myself every morning, the first thing I do before I even allow myself a cup of coffee, before I even sit down to pray, is I drink an entire 32 ounce glass of water. It takes me some time. Um, but that is a practice and a discipline that I have built because I found that when you fast through the night during your sleep and you start that your morning with at least 10 to 12 ounces of water, you don't have to be a water drinking psycho like I am, I get that, but 10 to 12 ounces of water will naturally flush and detox your body. Um, it will wake up your organs, and that's why you're supposed to eat within an hour of waking up. Breakfast. Break the fast. Cool, huh? So, um, I'll eat a veggie, a healthy carb, and a protein, a lean protein for breakfast to get my body going. Today, it's oats, a shake, and some spinach in a blender. So, have a plan. The other thing I want to tell you is that you just need to enjoy your holiday time. If you stick to those things that I just mentioned, you're gonna enjoy the people that you're with and not focus as much on binge eating the food. And enjoy the desserts. Like if you want to have a dessert, make sure it's one that you really wanna go into and have some of it. Like there's no shame in dessert. Dessert is delicious, right? You can make a healthy option for dessert. If you are in my email list, I sent out an entire, um, email yesterday with hundreds of recipes for bread and cakes and muffins and desserts, cookies, all those kinds of things. There are better ways to bake. 
Um, but if you see something at that dinner, like last night, um, we went to Dee's work party and they had the dessert was ice cream drizzled with caramel and they made homemade little elephant ears. I mean, maybe they were like monkey ears or people ears, but they were delicious. I ate the whole thing. Like you basically, like I licked the bowl to be quite honest, but you know what? I did all of the things that I am sharing with you and I didn't feel guilty about it at all. I prayed before dinner that the food that I would eat, I would enjoy, I would chew, I would taste and that it would nourish my body. Now, did I overeat a little bit? Heck yes, I did. My girl Hannah and I were like, let's split a roll. And then we were like, let's split another roll. And then we were like, let's split another roll. I had a roll and a half. So what? It was delicious. I chewed it, I enjoyed every bite, and I'm not gonna feel bad about it. I'm just not. So, have a plan. Do not self-loathe if you overeat. Just don't. Don't starve yourself the next day. Crap happens, move it on, chalk it up as it is what it is, and just move it on down the road. Um, this is a time to focus on what we are blessed with, what we have in life. So let's just focus on those kinds of things and enjoy the food as it comes along. Let's move our bodies. Let's not become obsessive about exercise or food or whatever that thing is. Let's just enjoy the people that we're with. Let's just find some joy in life, even if you are struggling, even if you're quarantined, even if you're home. And just remember what the season is about. And, you know, listen to a podcast. YouTube is chucked full of free content that will help you move through anything that it is that you're go is going on in your life. I love Brene Brown. I love Rachel Hollis. I love Joel Osteen. I love Joyce Meyer. There are so many people out there that will fill your brain with positivity. So let's just focus on that. Don't self-sabotage. Don't starve yourself. Just enjoy the foods. If you overeat, it is what it is, right? Like it is what it is. So make sure you're getting rest. Make sure you're getting half your body weight in ounces of water. Make sure you're making a plan, move your body, and just give yourself some grace. So um, that's all I got. I just wanted to share with you a couple of the things that I'm doing and fo we're focusing on in my challenge group um, this month. And so that's it. I hope you have a super duper blessed and happy um, Christmas season. And if you're doing the detox with me, we start tomorrow. So just uh, be blessed. Uh, remember Jesus is the reason for the season and let's just go count our blessings. Okay. Okay. Take care.